Hi, welcome to Listen to Riches. In this audio segment, we'll unveil the mystery behind A Dog Called Money. The subtitle of this story is Guiding Children to Develop a Proper Understanding of Wealth and Create a Money Fairy Tale. In the upcoming moments, I will reveal the essence of this book. If you want wealth to become a joyful force in your life, it is crucial to establish the right money mindset from an early age. We often talk about IQ and EQ, but a friend who recently returned from abroad told me that some American elementary schools are now emphasizing financial intelligence or financial wisdom. In the classroom, children take on the roles of company CEOs, simulate the creation and operation of companies with their classmates, and learn how to use money wisely to earn more wealth. This kind of financial intelligence is essentially the ability to create and manage wealth. It may sound like a skill reserved for adults, but it should start from childhood. The theme of this audio segment aligns with the content covered in this book. A Dog Called Money is an introductory finance book aimed at children, but it has also received enthusiastic responses from adults. Unlike other financial books, it doesn't solely focus on imparting economic knowledge to children. Instead, it emphasizes helping children develop the right concepts and values and cultivate good financial habits. Unlike books like The Richest Man in Babylon, the author's perspective is radically different. He believes that frugality should not be seen as a noble way of life and people have the right to have more wealth to make themselves happier and more successful. What makes this book even more special is that it differs from the typical financial literature. Since the subtitle mentions children and refers to it as a money fairy tale, you might have guessed that it's a beginner's finance primer that incorporates elements of a fairy tale. In the story, you will hear about a small dog named Money who converses with the protagonist, Kia, in human language and even takes on the role of her financial mentor. This fairy tale backdrop adds a lot of charm to the book. By anthropomorphizing the little dog, the author imparts a wealth of financial wisdom to the main character, Kia, in the form of storytelling. This includes shaping the right money perspective, discovering one's first pot of gold in life, and methods to make money generate more wealth. These rules for acquiring wealth not only apply to different societies and cultures but also transcend different eras, proving effective in all circumstances. Now let's get to know the main character of this book, the young girl, Kia. Her family's situation is similar to that of many ordinary families, not destitute but constantly worrying about living expenses. Influenced by economic recession, buying a house has burdened the family with a mortgage, making their lives quite frugal. What puzzles Kia even more is that when she expressed her desire to save money for an overseas trip, her parents not only didn't support her but also mocked her, saying it would take a lifetime to save enough. Even her parents' views on money are quite peculiar, believing that money brings misfortune and that ordinary children will never become millionaires. In such circumstances, a Labrador retriever named Money appears by Kia's side, offering her a fresh perspective on how to view money and handle her relationship with it. The author of this book, Bodo Schaefer, is a renowned German investor, entrepreneur, speaker, and best-selling author. He once faced severe financial crises but managed to regain financial freedom through his own efforts. This experience inspired his desire to share financial knowledge with more people. The Money Dog is a book he specifically wrote as an introductory finance guide for children, but it has also garnered widespread attention among adults. When the author wrote this book, he avoided dry financial terminology and instead conveyed four key aspects to children in a straightforward and understandable manner. Firstly, he emphasized the importance of cultivating the right perspective on money, helping children recognize that money is neutral and does not determine whether a person is good or bad. Secondly, he encouraged setting dreams of becoming wealthy as a goal, establishing a dream album and a savings jar. Thirdly, he advised focusing on what one can do and striving to earn one's first pot of gold in life. Lastly, he stressed the importance of sensible action, not frivolously spending the money earned, but using it as a tool to continuously generate wealth. 
Next, we will discuss these aspects in detail, starting with how to cultivate the right perspective on money. In the story, Kia's mother often expressed beliefs like money corrupts people's nature and money brings misfortune, which she frequently imparted to her daughter, leaving Kia perplexed. Clearly, her parents were not adept at managing finances and the family's debt was growing like a snowball, making their financial situation worse. Kia began to adopt her mother's views, believing that money wasn't a good thing. However, she also desired wealth because she knew that rich people could easily achieve their dreams and do many exciting things. It was at this point that Money the Dog told Kia that her parents were trapped in financial difficulties because they hadn't learned the art of financial management when they were her age. In other words, the root cause of their financial woes was not money but their ability to control it. This perspective was further confirmed by a new friend Kia met, Mrs. Taumu. Taumu was a very wealthy and eccentric old lady who had a peculiar habit of storing gold bars, jewelry, and cash in her basement and occasionally taking them out to admire and touch, which gave her great pleasure. Of course, such behavior also attracted thieves. Kia and her friends discovered signs of theft in the basement during a visit to the old lady's house and promptly reported it, safeguarding her assets. Curious, Kia asked what would happen if so much money was stolen from her home. Mrs. Talmu replied that money stays with those who earn it through hard work. Ill-gotten gains, obtained through unlawful means, only make people feel worse. She said this because Talmu was good at making money, so even if some of her money was stolen, it was just a small loss within her psychological tolerance and she believed she could earn it back. For thieves, however, the stolen money would only last for a while and they would have to worry about evading the police, landing them in even deeper trouble. The author concluded that money itself neither brings happiness nor misfortune, it is neutral like a magnifying glass, exposing a person's true nature and amplifying it. If you are a kind-hearted person seeking happiness, you will naturally use money for noble purposes leading to greater happiness. If you are fundamentally troubled and always anxious, having more money will only weigh you down. Let's rethink money. Money is neutral, devoid of moral judgment. It possesses immense power and can enhance one's overall quality of life to some extent. While having money makes it easier to achieve goals and dreams, ultimate happiness depends on our own nature. The author repeatedly emphasizes that money cannot change human nature and becoming wealthy does not mean you will become a bad person. With this psychological burden removed, the author moves on to discuss the second aspect. The second aspect involves setting the dream of becoming wealthy as a goal, precisely knowing what you desire, and creating a dream album and a savings jar for this purpose. As a 12-year-old girl, Kia naturally has her own preferences and dreams, such as going on a seaside vacation or traveling abroad. However, because her parents constantly worry about financial issues, she only dares to think of easily achievable small goals such as buying a favorite CD. It is at this point that Money the Dog encourages her not to hesitate but to write down all her dreams and select the ones she most desires to achieve as her primary focus, constantly reminding herself that these are her top goals. The money dog continued, saying that most people are not clear about what they truly want. They simply know they want more, but these vague dreams are ineffective. If life were compared to a large store, telling the shopkeeper you want more without specifying what you want would leave them baffled. Our dreams are similar, we must know precisely what we desire. Once clear goals are established, there's a method to reinforce them, which is to create a dream album. Collect photos related to your desires, place them in the album, and look at them every day to ignite your motivation. This action is referred to as visualization, a concept the author wholeheartedly endorses through the voice of the money dog. People lacking imagination find it challenging to achieve significant success. Successful individuals are dreamers, they continually imagine the scenes of their ideals coming to fruition before they succeed. Life presents many things to focus on, but only those we care about most and invest the most effort in to have the highest chance of success. Sadly, many people channel their energy into things they don't truly enjoy. 
The role of the dream album is to stimulate human imagination and pursue innermost desires. Of course, perhaps some, like Kia initially, might think of this as mere inspiration considering a dream album unnecessary. Thus, the author, through the money dog, further explains the concept, urging everyone not to hesitate but to take action because procrastination only wastes time. The author is a decisive person who believes that swift and clear action is crucial and wiser than pondering endlessly. Above all, avoid using vague expressions like, I'll try or I'll see, as life doesn't offer experimentation, there are only two choices, do it or don't. Of course, having a dream album alone isn't enough, one cannot dwell in dreams forever, as that would merely be daydreaming. To turn dreams into reality, practical actions and resources are necessary. Money suggests starting with a dream savings jar, putting every saved penny into it. Even though Kia faced the challenge of not having an income, relying solely on her parents' allowance, money reminds her not to dwell on reasons why it might not work. Regardless of future income levels, new difficulties will always arise and expenses tend to grow with income. The key is how to use the existing funds wisely. The purpose of the savings jar is to balance income and expenses as only with this foundation can you have the ability to acquire more money. Once these two items are prepared, you can start writing a success diary. Record every effort made and every achievement gained in pursuit of your dreams. This will make you feel tremendously accomplished and serve as a powerful motivator on your journey to achieving your dreams. For instance, Kia immediately picked up a pen and wrote down her recent accomplishments. First, I prepared two dream savings jars. Despite uncertainty about success, I did it anyway. If I don't try, I definitely won't succeed. Second, I put five marks into each savings jar. Third, I learned a lot about money and earning money. I've decided never to give up. These entries filled Kia with confidence. Now, let's recap the steps to becoming wealthy. Firstly, make a dream list, select the most fervently desired goals, create a dream album, and gather related photos and information to place inside. Look at these photos every day, envisioning your life after achieving your dreams to ignite a strong motivation to earn money. Then, put it into practice by using a dream savings jar to save money, adhering to the principle of balancing income and expenses. Lastly, begin writing a success diary documenting every effort and achievement along the way. Up to this point, we've covered the foundational preparations. Starting from the third section, we dive into specific action guidelines. The author emphasizes taking action for your dreams and adheres to two principles, focus on what you can do and persevere. It's evident that solely relying on the pocket money from parents won't make dreams come true. It's not practical. Kia's mother even discouraged her, suggesting that trying to buy a laptop or travel abroad with just a few dollars would take 50 years. However, this criticism only strengthened Kia's belief. She began considering the idea of working to earn money. Money Dog wholeheartedly supported her and reminded her that the key factor in whether she could make money is her level of self-confidence. Believing in your abilities is the first step to taking action. The author also shares the story of a young boy named Dari, explaining how he earned his first money through diligence and creativity at a young age, eventually becoming a millionaire. Dari's path to success was to concentrate his efforts on what he was good at and to persist tirelessly. Kia drew inspiration from this story. She identified her interest in dog walking and thought about how to turn it into an opportunity to make money. By knocking on neighbors' doors, offering dog walking services, and meeting their needs, she quickly found success. This story teaches us that the key to success lies in focusing on what you excel at and persistently pursuing it. Only through this approach can we accumulate small victories and move steadily toward the path of success. However, life's journey is not always smooth sailing. When faced with favorable circumstances, you might easily make money, but when adversity strikes, will you become flustered, forget your initial dreams, and spend your days dealing with trivial matters? Soon enough, Kia encountered an unexpected event that disrupted her plans. 
It turned out that Money Dog originally belonged to her and its previous owner suddenly reappeared, possibly taking it away. Kia spent a significant amount of time dealing with this tricky situation. Although she eventually succeeded in keeping Money Dog by her side, Money Dog expressed displeasure because, in handling these unexpected events, she hadn't looked at her dream album for several days or recorded her efforts to achieve her dreams. You see, a common mistake many people without money make is that they always have urgent matters to attend to, leaving no time to focus on important things. Perhaps you'll discover that the principles we consider straightforward are challenging to put into practice. Here, the author and advocate of taking action presents two crucial action guidelines, the 10-minute rule and the 72-hour rule. The 10-minute rule entails spending no more than 10 minutes each day continuously doing things that will benefit your future. These 10 minutes of consistency can change everything. Despite numerous distractions each day, if you commit to doing these things at a fixed time daily, the day of success will surely come. The 72-hour rule, on the other hand, stipulates that when you decide to do something, you must complete it within 72 hours, otherwise, you'll likely procrastinate, lose enthusiasm, and never do it. Let's return to Kia. She was proud of earning her first bucket of money in life. Still, when she encountered the previous owner of Money Dog, she became busy and anxious, spending a lot of time dealing with these unexpected events and completely forgetting her important life goals. This was clearly an unwise course of action. A highly successful individual, in any situation and at any time, adheres to the 10-minute rule and the 72-hour rule, staying true to their intentions. In summary, to earn your first bucket of money in life, you must take immediate action. Start with what you enjoy, try to solve problems for others, or concentrate on things you know, are good at, and possess. However, don't let sudden life events disrupt your progress. Never forget your important goals, spending at least 10 minutes each day doing things that contribute to achieving your goals. Once you decide to do something, complete it within 72 hours. Kia is now a self-reliant girl with sufficient capital. However, simply earning money isn't enough. In the fourth section, the author emphasizes the importance of rational spending and developing the habit of saving. The goal is to make your money work like a goose that lays golden eggs. The goose represents saving and the golden eggs represent learning about investment and finance, making your money grow. In the story, Kia's dog walking business grew rapidly. She was busy and even hired a few friends to help, sharing half of her income with them. Initially, she felt it was unfair to her friends because she took home more money while only sharing half with them. But later, she realized that the extra money was her reward for seizing opportunities and for taking risks. The other children were too timid even to knock on neighbors' doors, let alone consider other money-making opportunities. Kia's business kept expanding, and for a 12-year-old girl, she had saved a substantial sum of money for her dreams. Now the question arises, the money in her dream savings jar is enough to fulfill her dream of traveling abroad, which is one of her goals in her dream album. Faced with this situation, should she spend this money, or should she continue to save it? The protagonist, Kia, received important advice from her merchant friend and her little dog, Money Dog. The merchant friend used an interesting fable to convey a crucial lesson. Money in hand is like a goose that lays golden eggs, capable of generating interest, just like those golden eggs. However, the greedy young man in the fable killed the goose and lost the source of golden eggs. This teaches us not to be hasty, but to save a portion of our income, allowing money to create more wealth for us. Money Dog's advice was equally valuable. He emphasized the principle of spend less than you earn. Smart individuals only spend what they have previously saved, allowing expenses to grow in line with income. Kia decided to follow this principle by depositing 50% of her income into the bank, putting 40% back into her dream savings jar, and using the remaining 10% for spending. However, Kia realized that saving money alone wasn't enough. She needed to learn about investing. Fortunately, Mrs. Peachwood's unique perspective led her and other children to establish an investment club. 
Under Mrs. Peachwood's guidance, they learned about various investment methods such as funds and stocks. Kia discovered that investing was a more stable way to grow her wealth, whereas stocks carried risks but also the potential for greater returns. Mrs. Peachwood also shared an interesting 72-hour rule, a practical tool to calculate how long it takes for your money to double. She emphasized the importance of maintaining a calm mindset in the face of market fluctuations, just like the natural cycles of seasons. Kia eagerly absorbed this new knowledge, although her elders had some concerns. However, Mrs. Peachwood reiterated the importance of having the right attitude toward investments. After studying and discussing the matter, Kia decided to bravely enter the world of investments because she understood that money was a powerful force that could help her achieve her dreams. While Money Dog's story is coming to an end, the wisdom about money contained within it is invaluable. Money itself is neither good nor bad, it can be a driving force in our lives, improving our standard of living. However, we must adopt the right attitude toward money, understand our dreams, put in the effort, and learn to save and invest wisely to turn money into a goose that lays golden eggs, bringing us more wealth. Kia resolved to put these money wisdom principles into practice, to persevere in her dreams, and to have faith in her future. The money wisdom conveyed in this book is worth serious consideration and application in our own lives. Let's follow in Kia's footsteps, courageously explore the mysteries of money, and embark on our own journey of financial magic. Let money become an accelerator in our lives, adding a touch of brilliance to our dreams and happiness. This concludes the book Money Dog. Congratulations on completing another book. Thank you for your support and attention. Please subscribe to listen to Riches, like, and share this valuable knowledge with your friends. Let's combine wisdom with action to achieve our financial goals, creating a brighter future. Thank you all. See you next time.